Variations, Part Four. In this video, I will introduce the last type of variation, which is called partial variations. Let's see this this example. Uh, what is the perimeter of a rectangle, which is equal to p is equal to if p is the perimeter of the rectangle, which is equal to the length. Plus the width time two. So expanded this is equal to p is equal to two a plus two b. That means p this variable may be sum of more than one part. Okay, one is depending on a and r. The second part is depending on b. So in this example, we'll call uh, this is partial variations. Example six point eight. The price P of a group is partly constant and partly varies directly at the sum of the radius. That means the price of group is depends on two parts. The first part is a constant. The second part is varies directly at the square of the radius. So R. So ask you to find uh, express P in term of R. Give you two set of informations. Then you may let P because P has two parts. The first part is a constant. Okay, I use A to represent it plus B R square. Because the second part is partly okay, is varies directly at square of the radius. So the square of the radius where a and b are non-zero constant. That's why we have two set of information. The set, the first is when p is equal to one seven eight, r is equal to zero point sixteen. Because we have two world, two constant. Okay, if you want to find p in term of r, you need to have two information in order to eliminate it. So when p is equal to one seven eight, r is equal to zero point one six. One seven eight is equal to a plus zero point one six square b. This is equation one. We have second equation. When p is equal to two five zero, r is equal to zero point two. Two five zero is equal to a plus zero point two square b. And then you can use the method of elimination two minus one. Left hand side, okay, two hundred and fifty minus one hundred and seventy eight, seventy two. A minus A is equal to zero, so zero point two square minus zero point sixteen square is equal to zero point zero one four four B. Divide zero point zero one four four on both sides, and then you can find the values of B. So you can find the values of A by substitutes. B is equal to five thousand, and then a uh, minus so A is equal to fifty. So I know P is equal to fifty plus five thousand R square. Part B. When R is equal to thirty. Bear in mind this is cm, but can you see this R is in meter, so you can change to zero point three meter. So P is equal to five hundred because you substitute back into the formula. For our side, eight. Okay, you may do it first. After that, um, you may check your answer. Okay, part A. The pinning course C is partly constant and partly varies directly at the number of copies n. 
So you may set up the equation like this. C is equal to A plus N at BN, where A and B are non-zero constant. And uh, you can see uh, if you refer to textbook, some textbook will use this is K1 and K2. In general, I will not use K1 and K2. Okay, I will use AB rather than K1, K2. And then two set of informations. The first one, when the 1,000 1, copies, the course is 13000. So you can form the first equations. 15000 copies, the course is 14500. Second equations. Same idea. Okay, equation 2 minus equation 1. Left hand side, uh, 1,500. Uh, left hand side, A minus A is 0, so 500 is B. Then divide 500 on both sides, find B. After that, find A. Easy. Part B. When N is equal to 2,000, and ask you to find, find C, so C is equal to 16,000. But, can you see? You need to find the cost per copy. So, the required answer. Not only, okay? It's not one, uh, 16,000. You need to use 16,000 divide the number, the total number of copies. 2,000. So, this is equal to 8. One more example. Example 6.9. Q partially varies directly at the square of x. Can you see this time? Uh, the first part is not a constant. So, Q, let Q. We have two parts. The first part is direct proportional to the square of x. So it's a x squared. The second part inversely at x then plus b over x where a and b are non zero constant. We have two unknown a b and then we have two set of informations. When Q is equal to Chinese sex, X is equal to one or three. So when Q is equal to Chinese sex, X is equal to one. Chinese sex is equal to A plus B. When Q is equal to Chinese sex, X can be equal to three. So Chinese sex is equal to a times 3 squared plus b over 3. Multiply 3 on both sides because I want to eliminate this factor, this, this denominator. So, 26 times 3. So, multiply 3 on both sides. This is 26 times 3 is equal to 78. And 9 times 3 is equal to 27. And then, one equation 2 minus equation 1, you can eliminate b. Left hand side, 78 minus 26, 52. And then 27a minus a is equal to 26a. b minus b is equal to 0. So you can find a. And then b is equal to 24. Okay, part b. Q is equal to 2 times 6 squared plus 24 over 6, so it's equal to 76. Part C. Find the possible values of x such that Q is equal to 20. Well, Q is equal to 20. 20 is equal to 2x squared plus 24 over x. How can we find the possible values of x? Maybe you need to change the form. Multiply x first. 20x plus 20x. I'm uh, sorry equal to 20x to the power of 3 plus 24. And then I really want to simplify because this is, uh, well, because this is 20, okay, 2, 24 is also even number. Divide 2 on both sides, so 10x 
x to the power 3 plus 12. Do you have any idea how to solve it? This is not quadratic equations. Then I will change it to the cubic equation form. What can we do? Okay, maybe you need to using the factor theorem and then the factorization of cubic equation to solve it. You may let f of x is equal to x to the power 3 minus 10x plus 12 and check the values of x uh, to find the values of x such that f of x is equal to 0. So I check f of 2 is equal to 8 minus 10 times 2 plus 12. So I know x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. Okay, how can I check it? Maybe you can solve it to x is 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3, 4, negative 4, and 6. Why we do not need to check 5? Maybe you can have some provisions on the check uh, factor theorem, okay, so that you, you know why I will not check 5 and negative 5. Check one by one. Luckily, okay, f of 2 is equal to 0, so you can draw this conclusion. If f of 2 is equal to 0, by using factor theorem, x minus 2 is a factor. So how can we do the factorization? Maybe you can refer uh, by using the concept of the table. Okay, if this is x and minus 2, you can guess if I want to factor it. Okay, if this is x and this is negative 2, you can write down the first one this time. I know this is if I arrange the polynomial in descending power of x. This is x, this is this one must be x to the power of x squared. Because multiply them together, you see the x squared. If this is negative 2, this one must be negative. Uh, um, this one must be negative 6. Why? Because Negative 2 times negative 6 is equal to positive 12. So I'm sure. Oh, sorry. This is negative 6. Then you may fill in the table. This is x squared and this is negative 6. I want to guess the coefficients of x. Okay, this term is x. And then this is 12. Why? Because I multiply this two times, with, which is equal to the values. Okay, this is equal to this one. Okay, go at this one. And this is x cubed. I know that all the terms together must be equal to this polynomial, according to the multiplication by using a table. So, think about it. I know the coefficient of x is equal to negative 10, if I expand it. This two boxes, which is related to the coefficient of x. Why? Because this one times this one is equal to negative 6x. That means this two terms multiply together, which is related to the coefficient. If this is negative 6x, this is negative 10x. So I know this one must be negative four x, because add this two term together, which is equal to negative ten x. If this box is negative four x, this is negative two. This one, this is positive two x. So you can use this method to factorize the cubic method, uh, cubic equations. And why we need to do the factorization for cubic equations? Because if two term multiply together is equal to zero. Okay, our conclusion is x minus 2 is equal to 0, or this quadratic equation is equal to 0. So x is equal to 2, and by using your calculator, you can see the wood is irrational number, but the requirement is leave your answer in short form is necessary. So by using quadratic formula, and then you can have this answer, simplify it, and simplify this 28 by taking out 4. So it's square root 4 and times square root 14. 
a 12. So, square root and 4 times 7. So, so this is 2. So, you can take out 2 to do the simplification. So, the answer is negative 1 plus or minus square root 7.